Hey, it's Mark Wahlberg. Welcome to Click TV. Welcome to Click TV. So this is Windows 8 running the Acer W510 uh, tablet with 8 megapixel camera on the back and also has a front facing camera. So this comes as a tablet but they also has a connection at the bottom for a external keyboard and the keyboard will actually add to the battery life. It's got a separate battery so you get up to 19 hours of web browsing when you plug in the keyboard and it's, when you plug that in it becomes just like a laptop. So you can flip between a laptop and a tablet. Uh, this machine is running Windows 8 Pro so what what that means is that it will support as uh, regular desktop mode and it will support every app that runs in Windows 7 will run on this and as well with Windows 8 Pro every device that's currently running Windows will be upgradable to Windows 8. Um, what you see here is new is the start screen so at the start screen you're seeing these uh, Windows 8 apps which have these rich live tiles which flip over as you can see with these finance apps or some of the news apps or sports app and they continue to tell you new information about the app that you're using so with these you're uh, a lot more up to date. It's not more than just a set of icons. These are things that have rich content. So you can just look and go, or you can delve deep into the app and see what's going on. So this is a finance app. And from this one, you can see stocks and different information on stocks that you're tracking. And what you can also do is flip these into two separate views. So you've got the standard view that's open, but there's also a snap view. So if I take this and drop this uh, app in, It's tricky enough. <laughs> yeah, I think I have two fingers on it, so it's okay. So you can switch between the apps by just uh, flicking through them that way. Or what you can do is drag out and pull it back and it shows you all the open stuff you currently have. So if I take this app and drop it, what I now have is switches from that full view to this uh, snap view. So this works really good with Twitter, with Facebook, with music, anything that has constant information flowing, you can see over the back. And also still be working away on your desktop. And then when you want to flip over fully, just move it across and the app opens into its full view. Uh, the other thing is the is sharing is complete. So to flip traps, like say, just move from the right, but to see new apps, you just slide from the right. There's always your start buttons there, and these are what you're seeing now is using keyboard or using touch. These work equally well with uh, keyboard and mouse. So just move your keyboard up, your mouse up to the left or up to the right to bring out these charm bars. So you can search, either searching the app you're currently. In, and search the current app, or I can search any of the apps I currently have installed on this. So if I search for the travel app, Sports or Sky News, I'll see what comes back on this. Uh, it just searches your terms, so you can find where you want to go and search that term to match it and find the app. While the results for Internet Explorer versus Travel will be quite different. Um, and then the final one is sharing. So, and all the apps they have this ability to pull out the charms on the right, and you can share the content you're working on. So if I pull this out, and I'm in the finance app, it gives me the list. If I pull out from the right and share, you'll see the list of apps that will share URLs. So you can everything from Twitter clients to Evernote to mail clients, and with one click you can share that URL. Works similarly for photos, so if you're sharing a photo, it's smart enough to know only to use Flickr and other clients that can actually share photos to share the content you're working on. So it's very personal. You can move all these tiles around to fit where you want. So the device that you have will very much be your device. <coughs> and when you move across different devices, your apps will come with you because it's using your current library. So the apps you buy, you can use on up to six different devices. This, um, you've also got IE10 on this channel. Can you about that? So IE10 comes in two flavors. So you have the IE10 you're seeing here launching from the start menu is a plug-in free version. As you can see, there's no uh, file bar at the top. There's no settings. There's nothing here. All you're seeing is the content that we're looking at. And you can still get to all your open tabs. You can still get to your file, your favorites. But the idea is that the content should come to the core here. Um, and now that's
that's a plugin free version. Now, if you need to use any of the plugins, it supports Flash, but if you need any other plugins, there is the uh, desktop version of IE, and that will run on your home screen here and through your desktop. So, we have two versions to go, and you can easily switch between. Guys, I'm Hilary Johnson. I've been talking to Derby Murphy of Microsoft about the new Acer W510 tablet and Windows 8 and IE10. For more tech interviews, reviews, uh, head to clickonline.com.